baby, she freaky, freaky. Mm hmm. Girl, like a Reese's piece. Mm hmm. Even in the back, running like last time, I'm lower that cat. Mm hmm. Who my bitch, she a bad, she got attitude. When she mad, I'ma eat it like fast food. She a boss, cause she in the bag, too. Eat at the dick, like cash food. See so y'all, yeah, fine, fine. Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So today we are finally doing y'all long awaited video of answering or not really answering questions, but just talking to y'all, telling y'all everything about getting the nipple piercings, the pain, the struggle, the goodness, the badness, all that good stuff. So for, oh my goodness, my shoes are dirty. Okay, sorry. First things first, I made like a slight list so I make sure not to miss nothing, but I'm gonna just go in order of everything um, I have to say. Sorry if y'all hear background noise. I'm at the park. I was hoping nobody was gonna be here since I, that's why I came here, but hey, we just gonna ignore that. So first things first is the type of nipples you have. Some people have regular nipples. Some people have the little inverted nipples. I am one of people who have inverted nipples. Yes, I was still able to get them. And now that I have them, I feel like I don't have that anymore. I don't know. He said that basically once I got them, they were gonna like eventually relax and go back to normal. But I don't know, I feel like I don't know if it's because the bar is going like underneath them or hold on let me back y'all up so y'all can see what I am talking about but the bar is like going underneath them so I don't know if that has something to do with it but either way it goes they haven't like they don't look how they used to look that's the best way I can put it like they don't they not like they like oh okay look they was like this at first when they was relaxed and now they like I hope that makes sense to y'all it makes sense to me because obviously they on my body but I hope y'all get what I'm trying to say so the point of that was you're still able to get them it doesn't really affect nothing your your nipples just have to be hard once you go in there I guess if you if they not get them I don't know how you're gonna do that that's on you but there's that two the pain so a lot of y'all ask like compared to for one compared to my tongue piercing what was the pain like and tongue ain't got not squat on nipple piercings not a nothing the closest thing i could think that was like similar in pain was maybe my industrial piercing or That might that might just be the closest thing I could think of and that still wasn't even completely on the same level as this to me I'm not gonna hold y'all this and keep in mind I have a high pain tolerance so to me this was like a solid like eight nine no no exaggeration whatsoever it was a solid like eight or nine but I don't want to say that and scare y'all away because it's gonna hurt y'all y'all seen the video of me getting it's gonna hurt but it's worth it it's just a, it's a different type of hurt that's really all it is like it's it's different i and there's no real way for me to explain that unless you you got them or you're planning to get them but it's not like your nose it's not like your ears like that shit is straight out different that is a different type of different and i don't know but it is worth it and along with that once i got them like after he pierced one of them it hurt in the moment and then that was that his other one it hurt and then that was that but by the time i left the shop and i was like driving home i started getting hit with like random spurts of like ooh, like this mess hurt like it just started coming out of nowhere like random like little hints of pain throughout the entire day so i think i got them like probably at like 11 i'm mean, not 11 o'clock one o'clock and the entire night it was like on and off ow my titty hurts what is where is this coming from off and on all all night like like not like a shock type of pain but it was like i don't know i want to say like i was getting pierced all over again but that's really not the best way to explain it but i don't really know how to explain it but 
random pain throughout the day and after that I think the second day so the next day after I got them they were still hurting but it wasn't like bad so hopefully that helps y'all third the cleaning and healing process now today is what today is the 11th of July I think I got them on like the 10th or 14th of June I don't know but it's been about a month and they don't hurt as of now like probably like the first couple of days it hurt or like it felt some type of like tenderness and pain but after that it was it was like normal honestly um to clean them I've been using my Dr. Bronner soap just because that's what I use currently in the shower anyways so when I'm taking my shower I just take some more of it and I just and then in the midst of that they kind of get well obviously they're getting wet so they slide back and forth and then I just clean the excess like little gunk and stuff off of them and then that's that and when I get out the shower I bought this little spray thing off Amazon I'll insert a picture of it and I'll try to leave the link down because I don't have it with me but um after I clean it I just spray that on there and then I just go about my day literally I'm a lazy pierce piercing cleaner which probably isn't really the best but that's all I do I just clean it spray it a little it's like a sea salt solution or something like that I spray that on there it's time for me to go anyways I do that and then that's basically it. I don't do nothing major I just kind of I don't know if it's weird but I put lotion on like my titties so I don't know if y'all do that but I just started back doing that like a week or two ago or like a week and a half ago and yeah also with that um I saw some comments about y'all saying that I was supposed to get pierced while I was laying down and then some people said like did it feel like a difference and then somebody else has said um something about the comment that I can't work out so first things first with that I don't typically address comments that don't really comments that's gonna get a reaction out of me I don't address them but one if you're not a piercer please get out of my comments like I why would why would I take advice not that I wouldn't take advice from you but why would I listen to what you saying when I'm in the shop with a professional piercer who's done multiple piercings on my body already and I'm perfectly fine still they heal perfectly fine don't come in my comments criticizing my piercer that's what you're don't don't do that I find that very disrespectful and two the whole workout thing I didn't work out that first week but after that I did and I have been working out since then playing basketball cardio all that good stuff and I'm perfectly fine as you can see my piercings are perfectly fine I could you know um all that good stuff all I did was put a sports bra on and it wasn't even no real real sturdy sports bra but threw that on and did my workout per usual so I don't know where y'all got that from but sorry it didn't work out for you because that's what it sounded like happened anywho next sleep and clothing so sleep I am a sleeper I'm a face sleeper I sleep on my face and I sleep on my side but I mostly sleep on my face so the first night that was kind of hard but somehow some way throughout the night I still ended up sleeping like face down like on my stomach on my bed and I was fine it didn't really hurt until I started thinking about it I guess you could say so in the morning I was like freaking out like oh my god how I'm asleep or not in the morning but that night I was like how I'm asleep what I'm gonna do it worked out it doesn't really bother you because I don't sleep in bras and stuff I put me a little tank top on something like this or even looser and I just go to sleep it doesn't bother me it doesn't affect nothing not even in the slightest you can still sleep but I guess it kind of just depends on how y'all it's a dog coming up to me what do I do? I do not like creatures. What the? Uh uh. Okay, 
okay, maybe if I mind my business, they're gonna mind their business because there's really two of them. Anywho, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, sleep doesn't bother me. Um, sleep perfectly fine, roll around, twist, tumble. I'm a wild sleeper, it doesn't hurt nothing. All after everything after like them first two, three days, unbothered. Clothes, however, I have yet. And I don't want to jinx it, so somebody knock on wood for me. I have yet to get them caught on anything I've worn. But then again, I don't know if I'm just subconsciously, like, thinking about that before I get dressed. Like, oh, I don't want to um, have them get caught on something and start snagging or anything like that. Because I know that's going to be painful. But nothing like that has happened. Clothes don't bother it. Um... I will say like the first two weeks when I was taking my showers and I was drying off, I did not realize how much stuff bumps into your titties. Like I'd be drying off and you see how this arm just casually hits this? All that never processed into my head. So it's kind of like you have to be a little more careful at first. Really like the first two weeks because they're more sensitive. But um that was kind of the only thing of semi things being uncomfortable is drying off with a towel and putting lotion on my body and I'm just accidentally hitting it but that's something you just kind of got to be more aware of and the last thing which is what I've been hearing about most is sensitivity so mama if you're watching this stop right here um I did not have sensitive nipples like if somebody I really don't okay I don't know how to explain this but I'll be in detail so I'm sorry if I don't want to hear this but if somebody was to be like oh I'm finna lick on your titties or whatever um it wouldn't feel like nothing to me like anything on them would not feel like not a nothing but now the slightest little it really feel like I'm getting my toes sucked on. And I don't know if y'all know what that feel like, but it's like heaven sent. So, I don't know if that means if you don't have sensitive nipples, they're gonna become sensitive, but that's just what happened to happen for me. So, I don't know. But what the heck? Sorry. But in the same sense, I've heard people who have more sensitive nipples they end up getting their getting it pierced to like try to increase sensitivity and now it's just like nothing or it's not as much as it used to be i hope that's making sense to y'all but i'm trying my best i hope that helps um okay y'all ended up running out of storage space on my camera but basically um that's about it i hope i covered everything that y'all wanted to know um if i didn't i could always make a part two you know like later down the line answering more questions or giving y'all more tea more details about the piercing but all around if you want it go get it like it's simple as that nothing nobody say is going to alter it besides the only thing to really consider is the pain and if you can't take it then you must not really want it that bad. That's how I see it. And if you want it, you're going to suck it up, put your big girl panties or big boy drawers on, and you're going to go get it. As I did. Go get you some ice cream afterwards. Um, Didn't use no numbing spray, no numbing cream, no nothing like that. Uh, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. Am I missing something? Oh, sir. Back, back up. Back up. Back up, little fella. Uh-uh. 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 Back up. Back, back, back up. Back up. I don't know you. Back up. It's time for me to go. I don't, I don't like animals and they don't like me but anywho i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe if there's something i didn't answer that y'all want to answer to 
DM me, comment it down below, whatever you got to do. I'm going to answer. As y'all see, I respond to literally everything. But something that I feel like is going to irritate me, basically. Or I'm a, whatever I'm going to say back is going to probably hurt your feelings. That's the only time I don't respond to stuff. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys, I hope it was helpful for you guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, thank y'all for 11K. I rock with y'all the long way. Um, I'm almost at 1K on TikTok. I messed y'all. I messed y'all tough. Um, yeah, that's all I got really. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Wanna get it, get it, BBS, why y'all ain't got you drippin', drippin'? Yeah, your nigga think he trippin', trippin', 30 clip, longer than my bitch's stitches. Pussy wetter than Flinchy from Michigan, KFC, my OG brought the chickens in. We was serving that bar on the back streets, I can run through the pad like a track.